güzel mi bu? İyi yapıyor. Ama inşallah. I think you are more expert than me. No, no. You are doing very well. <laughs> Bravo, you are making like my, my daughter. My daughter has always the, the pizza with heart shape. <laughs> heart is important. Yes. Sporda sürdürülebilirlik çok önemli kavramlardan biri. Başarı pek çok dinamiğin bir araya gelmesi ve bunların sürdürülebilir olmasıyla mümkün. Ve bugün sizinle birlikte sporda sürdürülebilirliğin önemli isimlerinden biri var. Milli takımımızın ve Vakıf Bank'ın hocası Giovanni Guidetti. Arkayı toparlıyor Magic. Hücum avantajı tekrar. Smaje blok var. Bir blok daha var. İnanılmazsınız kızlar. Kendisiyle Takım olma ruhunu, liderliği, istikrarı konuşacağız ve sonunda bir de sürprizimiz olacak. Kendisinin tarifiyle pizza yapacağız. Giovanni, let's start with a short question. What does volleyball mean to you? Means a lot. Means a lot because it's a long, long story. So my father was a professor in school, but at the same time was a volleyball coach and still. The people calling him professor because also he wrote a couple of great, great books to teach how to teach volleyball. And so basically, I started. I mean, I always play volleyball all my life. I was when I was at home, I was playing one against one, so me against myself. You know, with the balloon, I was attacking, defending, setting. I was speaking like a journalist, you know, faking to be one player, another player. And my sister, they were playing, not high level, but they were playing. So I was going to see them. As waiting their match finish to take a ball and play and play and play just already when I was three and four. So really, I started super young, and I still doing, you know, and I still enjoying, you know, I still doing and I still enjoying. This is why I, I consider myself very lucky. You achieved great things in Turkey in Vakıf Bank and our women national team. From your point of view, what is key to sustainability in sport? I think there is not only one key, okay? But if I have to to pick the most important thing, I mean, the way I always thought was always what we can do better. You know, because w once you win, then means that the next year, the next season, everybody is against you. The second one that I try to do, and club and national team are a little different. So in the club, I try to keep always a big number of players. So I try every season to change really few. So the mentality of the club, the mentality of the team, you know, stay the same. So I, I always like to say that, you know, we, we want to build a team is like a, a new house. Every, every year you build a new house. But what I like to say in Vakiban, for example, that we want to build this new house over a strong rock. İstediği gibi pas gelmese de o kadar iyi değerlendirdi ki. The strong rock is the basement, the mentality, the attitude, the passion, you know, the love and the, the professionality of the club and the people that work in the club that have to be the majority always there. So keeping this big group and changing just small pieces. Team sports is built up with different people, different characters. So how do you make everyone? on the same page. Not always actually, yeah. Unfortunately, it's not always. But okay, this this is, I mean, I I believe this is my job. So the the role of the coach is is exactly this one, is to connect everybody, to put everybody on, in, the, same page, on right? the same page and make everybody, give to everybody the same, the same goal, the same desire. Meryem Boz, çıkarabilecekler mi? When you give to everybody this sense of belonging to a dream, to a to a goal, to, to a team, to a club, then is when you have the success. Then when you have all the people working together. Please correct me if I am wrong. I think it is 13th year for you in Turkey. What Turkey means to you? I came to Turkey very excited. Because, of course, you know, one team, 
want to grow. At, at this time, Wacky Bank was not a big team, it was, was a good but small team. They want to invest in a young foreign coach, so of course. And I was always, I always said yes to the new challenge. I said yes to Bulgaria, I said yes to America before, to, to, to Germany and so on. So, okay, of course, I said yes. And 13 years ago, of course, my Turkish was zero minus and English almost nobody. So, as soon as the training is finished, I was really lost, you know, and then I want to go somewhere. I mean, I stay in the traffic three hours because I mistake one road, what I don't understand. The life was, was not so easy. And I remember that in December, I called my agent and I said, yeah, everything is okay, the club is perfect, the people are nice, but the life is, is, is not my life here. So I want to come back to Italy. So fine for me, a team. Then, slowly, slowly, you know, you start to adapt, of course, to, to, to the new reality. And of course, I start to, to know the people better, to, have, to start to have Turkish friends, and, and the team was doing good. And, you know, step by step, step by step, step by step, I became really in love with this country, you know, and I am in love with this country. I'm in love with the city and with this country and with the people especially. Coach, let's come to the important point. I, kn I know you like food. What about Turkish cuisine? Uh, <laughs> what is your favorite? Actually, I'm not a big, big, big fan of Turkish cuisine because it's kind of heavy. You know, it's not so easy, you know, this, all this kind of kebab. You know, after, after you eat one, then, then I, I have to say without eat one more. It's delicious, but kind of heavy. Actually, with, with, with my stuff, we have one place that is called Imrem Lokantasi. Yes, Uskudar. Uskudar, Balarbashi, very, very close to our gym. Yes, yes, yes. And I go there and, you know, now we are like the stars there. You know, as soon as we enter, they, they prepare the table, oh, jam, oh, jam, oh, jam, oh, jam. And they give everything to us. Oh. But really, when we go there, after to train after this meal is not easy. You know, you need really 20 minutes nap, two, three coffee, and then you can go to training. But delicious. Delicious. Auf <laughs> Wiedersehen. Coach, I give you two choices. Sütlaç or gelato? Iskander or pizza? Turkish coffee or espresso? Reading book or watching a movie? Living without music or living without TV? Winning the game by 3-0 or winning the game at fifth set. I think we are going to cook pizza together. Let's try. What is the first step to make a good pizza? The key for pizza is patience. So theoretically, you should make the pizza dough, yeah. you know, two days before you eat the pizza. So sometimes I do. So tonight, then so I So you make the pizza dough. I make the pizza dough. I have a machine at home, oh. and then, then you know, in two days, become bigger and bigger and bigger. And after that, then means you did already a big, big one of the biggest part of the job. Then you need, in my opinion, for sure, a great tomato sauce, because without a great tomato sauce, will not come good. Mozzarella have to be simple. You don't want mozzarella that have too many extra tastes. For example, mozzarella di bufala, mm -hmm. I don't prefer in the pizza because already has its own taste. Mozzarella di bufala is good with tomato, balsamic, olive oil, that's it. Let's go to show your talent. Oh, also your talent. Let's okay. see. <laughs> okay, here we are. So, the most important part, like we said, is the dough. So, yeah, we didn't do, they, do, they did for us the dough. Yeah. So I believe it stay at least one night, one or two nights ready. Basically, the good pizza guy in Italy, they just use the hand. And when it's ready, then we start to put the material. Guzano, bu. Ia, Piolo. Amuchallah. Only me I'm working, you don't work. No, I can I, work. You take one. Yeah, I can do another one. Please. Okay. Then the good pizza, they also make this fly sometimes, but this I, I cannot do. I think you are more expert than me. No, no. You are doing very well. <laughs> Actually, it was more easy to, to, to see than to do. But it looks not bad, huh? No, no, you are doing better than me. No, no, you are the expert. Mendi Pascal, da Aguza. Bravo, you are making like my, my daughter. My daughter asks always the, the pizza with heart shape. <laughs> Yours is heart. like scalp. Heart is important. Yes. I like it. I mean, you know, there are many kinds of pizza. The, the real Napoli pizza is not very thin. But, or there is, this is called like Romana pizza. 
izmovit sen. Şefim iyi mi bu? Şimdi tomato sos. Doğru. This part is very... You start like this and then you go. This one I saw many times. Please, this one is you. Oh, okay. Ah, you see, different technique. It's very good. Perfect. Mozzarella. Caramelized soan. Chalky. They are more sweet and they are more delicious. You want to put mantar in your? Yes, I, I love mantar. Ingredient for most of the food. In Bravo. Life. Now the most difficult Relative. part is to put inside. Ben, ben, ben yaparım onu. Really? Yani I will try. Ben de zor. Great. Voila. Good job. Coach, I give you two choices. This or that. Sütlaç or gelato? Gelato. No question. It's kind of a pizza. Pizza, no question. This is clear. Turkish coffee or espresso? I have to say I like both. I like both, but I mean espresso is much more easy to do, especially with these many machines, so I will go for espresso. Espresso. Reading book or watching a movie? I mean, time for watch a movie, I don't have it all. So I always choose reading books, so I can, I can stop when I have to stop, but and also I can learn many more things. Living without music or living without TV? Uh, actually, I'm not a big television fan. I don't open television so much. And I just watch some sport event, basically. So, but I cannot live without music. So music is always big, big, big part of my day, my life, my car, my study. So for sure, I cannot live without music. Winning the game by 3-0 or winning the game at fifth set. I mean, of course, there are many victories for fifth set, many 3 0 so, but I would say that if I have really to choose, the fifth set is always more exciting because. I remember the fifth set yes. at Olympics. This sometimes can be very depressive, but sometimes can be very exciting, like against Poland, for example, in Olympic yes. qualification. And, but I mean, the fifth set means the both team that fought super hard. They tried the best and really at the end win the best of the best in that day. You know, so I I I, I would choose this one. Also 3-0 means win the best of the best, but sometimes 3-0 means maybe Easy another game. another team gave, gave up in yeah. one moment. But 3-2 means nobody never gave up. So I would choose always for, I would prefer the fifth set for, also. Yes, for hard fifth set, yes. Thank you coach. Thank you very much. It was fun. Thank you for your it great questions and great answers <laughs> thank you so much and congratulations because your pizza was amazing no we will see which one is amazing wow, we will yeah, taste how ah, we taste those yes, so very good oh not bad result yes it's good not bad not bad here we go with mushroom and with caramelized onion I know. Mine and yours. The new yogurt is the one. Okay, so good. Chokinje. Bravo. My chokinje is the one. Ah, those. And it's so good. I'm going to see the pizza. The new one. Both ones. The new one. So I'm saying, Mantari is the one. The mantar talks a little bit. Mantar, yes. To be clear. I'm going to be clear. The second thing is now. I'm going to do pizza. Yes. Today, our friends and our technical director of the Rakut Bank, Giovanni Guidetti, we talked about the sport of sport. We talked about the sport of sport. We talked about the sport of sport. And, of course, we talked about the sport of sport. Pizza yapımında mutfakta beraberdik. Fırının karşısına geçtik ve sonunda pizzayı da birlikte tattık. Ben kendisine çok daha uzun yıllar başarı diliyorum. Sağlık diliyorum, afiyet diliyorum. Teşekkürler Giovanni. Ben çok teşekkür ediyorum. Çok teşekkürler.